What's up guys, Chaz here at Chez Arcade and here we are in the warehouse at Chez Arcade. Uh, need to work on these games really fast place. We have something in the box today. Let's check this out. All right, so this just came in and we are gonna open this up. Yes, I marked some things off so you don't know. You know, that's some kind of personal information. We are gonna open this and see what is inside for the first time. Okay, what do we got here, my friends? Could it be something Vintage, retro, could it be from the early 90s? Could it be something in a box that's never been opened before? Could it be bubble wrapped really well and I have to still cut it and open it? Oh, maybe I can just unravel it. Nope, there's one. Oh, you kinda got a sneak peek. What's it gonna be? I don't know. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. We're back. <laughs> All right, we got to a point where we can see what it is, and here we go. Yes, it is another super soaker, but the thing about this one. <laughs> this is insane, guys. This is the original super soaker. Super soaker 50. That's right, this is the very first Super Soaker Air Pressure Super Soaker 50. That's right, my friends. This is the water gun that everyone wanted as a kid. It was one of the first pressurized water guns ever made, totally outperforming all the motorized blasters that were ever made. Before then, there was only one, which was, I think, called a Cosmic Liquidator, but uh, that one didn't you know, go too far. Um, in the 80s, there was a rocket scientist guy. His name was Lonnie Johnson, and he actually was making some kind of heat pump system and was testing it and squirting it around and was like, you know what, I'm going to make uh, you know, a water gun, which before that, it was not called the Super Soaker. It was called, I believe, what was it called? It was, uh, I know Daisy Outdoor Products, they took over the toys, and then the idea sold to Laramie, which is Lar Laramie, which is that thing right there, Lar Laramie, I don't know how to even pronounce that thing. Um, but they called it the Power Drencher, and it didn't really sell. Um, but once they changed the name of the Super Soaker, and then they came out with the Super Soaker 50 right here, this thing went crazy. Um, this, I mean, this is the very first one, guys. I mean, this is this is what started it all. This this is the beginning of it all. I had to have this. It is literally in mint condition. Uh, the box is amazing. Um, I mean, the main pros of this, and I'm not going to take this out, and I'm not going to use this at all because this is rare, and you know, this is a good collector's item. Uh, I mean, it's small, light, it's easy to carry, the rate of fire, supply ratio, quite good, and uh, it could last quite long um, in, with just with the pumps and stuff and squirting water. I mean, for the small gun, it would last for a while. Um, it would help that you didn't have to change the water as much with this size because, you know, the ones that came out after this were a little bit smaller. And then they started coming out with like the 200, the CPS 2500 and all that stuff getting really, 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 really large. Um, the bad things about this one was that they were fragile and the o-ring was always become damaged or it would come loose and so it would leak and the nozzle size was significantly smaller on these ones on this one so the newer one that came out of this which i have which you've seen um here in the picture right here that is the new and improved and they changed the o-ring and stuff like that and the pressurized system a little bit so overall it's the same gun but they just they just improved this one um so even though that one is better than this one I, you know, you can't go wrong with this. This is this is just amazing. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's let's go. Can we set this up somewhere and just kind of look around it? How about on Robocop? So here it is, the box. I mean, just really cool to have something that is, you know, from the 90s. And this one, believe, it released in 90, came out in 91 or so. Um, prototype stuff like that finished in like the 89 time. So. I mean, this is literally way better quality than the last box that I got. I mean, this is this looks like it just came off the shelf. There's a few little blemishes here, but other than that, this thing is beautiful. So this will go really great next to the Super Soaker 50 that I have, the new and improved at home. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you the new Super Soaker that just came in, brand new in box. See you in the next video.